This is like a shiny, it's like finding a shiny Pidgey just suddenly in front of, like, you on the path. Oh my goodness, he's so pretty. I can't believe it. There's all these really, really rare warblers jumping in the trees around us right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How dare you, sir? How dare you look so amazing? <laughs> They're jumping in the tree and being so 100% photogenic. And you never see these guys on the ground. And the deepest, most painful irony of it is that I'm 100% out of memory on my last memory card. How could I have let this happen? Oh. Truly, all I need now is for a pileated woodpecker to like land with its babies. With its babies. Or a woodcock. Or, or a woodcock. And then if, it, if we saw a woodcock just now, I would just throw myself cock. on the ground. If you see a woodcock, cock. Just start deleting everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, little friend. Are you taking a nap? With all of your family? Oh, darling, they look like they've melted onto the branches. Aren't they all my little melting doves? They're melty doves. Oh, I see your little toes. There's so many of them. They're finally not fighting. One day you will realize there's plenty of food for everybody. There's no need to fight. Yeah, hi. Which one of you's fluffy, huh? You look like you're probably fluffy. Yeah. Oh, that's fluffy. Yeah, we got a lot of doves in our tree right now, my love. One of my favorite parts of having the Snowy Sled Dog series back for our Sims is making these thumbnails they take so much more work and it really man like makes me have to like figure out how to kind of manipulate and push around the poses and the pictures that you can get while you're playing the sims but they always turn out really great i just really love the style of them and they also let me have really um unexpected drama that kind of sets the tone for the episode in the thumbnail like this one right here where kailano seems to be out with somebody who is not Ashley. But don't worry, once I finish going through and like removing, okay, I hope I don't remove anything critical, but finish removing the bit behind uh, Miss Ziva here, we're actually going to have Ashley show up looking a little shocked. So it's really fun to be able to like add in that extra level of drama. I like these thumbnails, I'm pretty proud of them. There, drama, perfected. It's been busy. <laughs> it's been really busy, but today was like a surprisingly great day for birding from like my living room even, which was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those cool birds. They're literally just here in the city that I live in. We don't live in the wilderness. We live next to like a few major highways and a huge cluster of shops. And actually we live in a pretty urban area, but there's a lot of species that are really attracted to the park nearby, so we had a great time seeing the birds on our walk and also our doves who are out on our deck all the time. One of these mornings, I want to put the camera out there so you guys can see Dove Fight Club. <laughs> We used to have just two doves, Fluffy and her mate, or his mate, we never can decide who's who, but we used to just have two doves, and now that winter has come, we actually have like anywhere from 8 to 14 show up every day, and they get a little possessive about the food, even though we put out multiple dishes, but we kind of let them settle it themselves, and one day I will introduce you guys to Dove Fight Club. After they eat, they all roost in the tree together looking really sweet, so I think it's just because somebody wants to eat the other seeds before everybody else. But 
it was a converting day and also really busy. I haven't gotten ahead as much as I wanted to on a whole bunch of our work and I'm starting to think maybe we'll do the advent treasures in Minecraft kind of spread out through the end of the year instead of just right up to Christmas on the 25th. And as soon as I thought about that, it made me feel super relieved. <laughs> And I felt like a bit of pressure had come off because keeping up with everything, especially because December is one of the biggest and most important months of the year for YouTube, it, it, it can be kind of overwhelming. And that's a good time to stop and ask yourself why you have the expectation that you do and to maybe like rein it in a little bit. Why do I have to get the Advent Treasures and both Vlogmas series done by Christmas? Well, I want to keep both Vlogmas series kind of lined up with the Christmas thing, but why does that then treasure have to end on Christmas? Why not just have it keep going through the rest of the year if that's just how it works out so that I can get it done in a way that's joyful for me and actually accomplishes this goal I really want to do. So that's kind of where my thoughts are right now, but we'll see because every day is really different and new for me right now and I have more and more energy to start tackling all of our project projects now that I have this like momentum and motivation going <sighs> and that's a good thing I I think it's a good lesson though and definitely leaving yourself what they call like margin space which is where you have some breathing room so that on the days where you do have a lot of energy you can go further on your goals and on the days where you don't have as much energy taking some time to rest won't throw you off your goal. And I used to think that meant you had to work super, super hard all the time so that in case you got sick or you had to rest, you'd have time to like re relax for a little bit. But now I'm thinking it's actually the opposite. Instead of having a big goal and then working super hard all the time just in case you need a little bit of buffer room, maybe you should be building the buffer room into the goal. <laughs> And that's kind of what I feel like I'm doing by giving myself permission to just be ready, if that's how the cookie crumbles, uh, to be a little more flexible with our schedule and a little bit easier on myself. And I hope that maybe that message can go out there into the world and help some of you guys too. The expectations that we have and we put on ourselves and the things that feel like they must be done this way or else we will fail or it will be the end of the world almost never are the end of the world. One of the best things that I ever learned for handling my anxiety was a saying that you should use your imagination to go, okay, so what if that scenario actually happens? Okay, so what if we don't finish Advent Treasure before Christmas? Like, so what? <laughs> It's a Minecraft series enjoyed by a, a small, fun little community group who's just going to be happy to have more of it no matter what days it goes out. And as soon as I realize that reality and I turn my like worst case scenario into the truth, I can kind of hold it up and ask, all right, is this like oversized and am I being kind of ridiculous here? And I can give myself a little bit of, of a reality check in a nice way. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing. But ironically, the more <laughs> the more wiggle room I feel like I have, the more I give myself permission to just kind of go at whatever pace I have available and not pass or fail, pass or fail, like by having all these goals done in a certain specific way, by just celebrating them getting done at all and the journey of getting them done and then kind of like kicking the schedule out the window and like saying see ya as it like goes colliding onto the ground. Um, I feel like I, I can actually stick to the schedule even better because I have more motivation. <laughs> there needs to be more talk about how that permission to be a little bit more gentle with your with the idea of like passing or failing can can really can really change your life but anyway i'll gather my thoughts on that a little bit more and hopefully if i am able to like really get this going and really keep up the pace for a little while uh we'll get a little bit of wiggle room because i really want to be doing some crafts i have some crafts i want to get done before christmas because they involve trying to make a little present for chips that i think he'd really enjoy and i wanted to try to do that this weekend so we'll see if I can carve out some time on my schedule so we don't need to worry about the videos going out 
and that you know house stuff is taken care of and then I think you and I might have a secret project to work on so we'll see how that goes but all right guys thank you for joining me on another vlogmas episode and I'll see you all tomorrow bye guys